Hey guys, welcome back. I am beyond excited because it's almost back to school. It's almost back to school. And I love my kids, but um, it's time for them to go back to school. And this year, Milo starts JK. So I'm going to do a week-long back-to-school series starting today. And the most exciting part about this little video series is it's a collaboration with Kimmy from She's In Her Apron. I love her channel. So I asked her if we could do a collab. She said yes. I'm excited. So I'm going to put the link below. Check out every day we're both doing the same, you know, tips together, sharing our different ideas for the same topic. So make sure you check out the link to her channel below. Today we're doing organized backpacks. And because Milo's starting JK, which means I'm going to have all day to myself. I'm getting off topic. Because he's starting uh, JK, we needed a new spot for his backpack. If you don't have a designated place in your home for your kids' backpacks and school papers and all that stuff that they bring home, what are you waiting for? Create a space. It doesn't have to cost a lot of money or take a lot of time. I'm going to show you what we did this weekend. The kids and I put this together for zero dollars. So here we go. Someday, hopefully in the near future, we'll be redoing this craft room slash mud room and installing these gorgeous custom locker systems. In the meantime, I wanted to create the same type of system without spending any money. So the kids and I took apart these old shelving units that we already had. They're just inexpensive closet made three cubby type systems and we turned them into this little locker system. It's working so great. The kids are excited to have their own space and the best part, it even has room for Milo. By taking out the middle shelf of these three cube closet made organizers and stacking one on top of each other, we were really able to solve our back to school clutter issue by creating these little, I don't know, makeshift lockers. It works. It holds all the stuff. It was free, which is even better. I love the bins on top. I just wired on picture frames so they each know whose is whose, and that's for school papers and all of the stuff they bring home. Inside their individual cubbies, I just hung hooks directly onto the wall behind for their coats, um, their you know snow pants, all of that stuff. And then underneath there are these pull out, we just used canvas bins from the dollar store to store hats and mitts and scarves and all of that great stuff. All in all, it's such a great little organized system, even spots for their shoes on the bottom with contact paper to help with the water. When it comes to organizing inside the backpack, we did something a little bit different this year, which hopefully is really going to help keep their backpack in their desk really organized. The girls each had to get doula tangs. Every year they have to get different color doula tangs for each subject and they would get curled and get wet, you know, when a water bottle leaked, and it was always sort of a disaster. So this year, what we did is just pick up an inexpensive binder to contain all of those different subject doula tags. They're not supposed to get a binder, but it's really a great way to keep everything organized. So inside they can just still keep their different color doula tangs, but it also has, I've got a pencil case that clips right inside and a spot for their artwork and their drawings that they always otherwise have shoved in the bottom of their uh, backpacks. Now we have these little folders where they can just put them, slide them right in here. And also they have agendas that they get every year that can snap right in here as well. So everything they need is all contained in one binder. The best part is things aren't going to get soaking wet when their water bottle leaks or something in their lunch pail explodes. It's always drama. It really can keep their desk and their backpack organized using a big zipper binder like this. I used to fill their backpack with like hand sanitizer <laughs> and all this stuff. I've discovered less is more. Now we get like a little clip-on hand sanitizer and a clip-on lip balm that looks like a little stuffy and keep everything else empty, nothing else. All they have is their lunch bag, a water bottle, and their binder. And that's all they need to stay organized all year long. 
I think my favorite part of this new backpack organizing system are the bins on top. Kids are always coming back with random papers from school, artwork, things that need to be signed, homework that has to be returned, and I love that you can just pop it in the basket, you know, that has their picture on it, right above all of their stuff, and I can deal with it when I have more time. This is also the place that we're going to store their memory binders so I can easily slide in their report cards, slide in the artwork and or the tests we want to keep, and everything's contained, organized, but the best part, really easy to access. So stay tuned till tomorrow when I show you how to create your own back to school memory binder for your kids for under $2. And make sure you check out Kimmy's video right now. I'm going to put the link below to see how she organizes her kids' backpacks for back to school. Thanks so much, we'll see you tomorrow. If you haven't already, click right here to subscribe to my channel for more back to school and tons of other organizing videos each and every week. Thanks and see you then.